This video is going to look at reactions of benzene, specifically the nitration of benzene. Now this is for A-level chemistry, specifically OCR, however it is applicable to other courses as well. What you'll be expected to do is identify the conditions for the reaction, the reagents involved, and you'll need to draw mechanisms and also some equations to, to show how the catalyst is actually involved in the reaction. So first of all, you need concentrated sulfuric acid and that's going to be the catalyst for the reaction. You will need concentrated nitric acid. This will be used to produce the electrophile for the electrophilic substitution reaction. And the reaction conditions are 50 degrees Celsius and this is in, to ensure that you keep control of the particular reaction. So, first of all, what you need to do is show how the electrophile is actually formed. Now, the way this happens is sulfuric acid will react with the nitric acid. Now, because the sulfuric acid is a stronger acid than the nitric acid, the sulfuric will donate a proton to the nitric acid. This forms h 2 NO3 plus and HSO4 minus. So you can see that the sulfuric acid has transferred a proton to the nitric acid. This is not finished yet because this is not the complete electrophile because we're nitrating and therefore we're trying to add an NO2 group to the benzene. The next thing that happens is the H2 NO3 plus will degrade and reform sorry, not reform, it will then form our electrophile, NO2+, and water will also be released from the reaction. You can put these two equations together by cancelling down things that appear on both sides. So, for example, so what you need to do is add this equation to this one. If you add this equation to this one, the HNO3+, on either side, will cancel each other out and you'll be left over with an overall equation of H2SO4 plus HNO3 to produce NO2 plus plus HSO4 minus plus H2O. So this is our overall equation here for the production of this really important electrophile here. So this is what we're going to use to nitrate the benzene you will be expected to draw this equation here, to write this equation in the exams. You can show it by drawing this full, the, all the steps, or you can simply learn this equation and write this out to show how the electrophile forms. The next thing you need to do is draw the mechanism for the reaction. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. I will write the equation back so you can see the equation involved. Just remember, you need to learn these conditions, you need to identify these conditions, and it is important that you identify that the sulfuric acid catalyst is concentrated and the nitric acid is also concentrated as well. So, I'll rewrite the equation up here again so we can keep referring back to it. So HNO3, concentrated HNO3, concentrated sulfuric acid, produces the electrophile, NO2+. Plus. HSO4 minus and H2O. This should be on the same line. I've just run out of space here on the board. Now, to draw the mechanism, we need our hexagon for benzene. Complete ring in the centre. Now, our electrophile will be attracted towards this delocalised ring of electrons. There'll be a an attraction, a movement, so remember the arrows show the movement of a pair of electrons towards the positive charge on the electrophile. This arrow must come from the ring. It's really important that it starts at the ring. You don't start from here and leave a gap. It can come from the center of the ring or from the edge of the ring. The result of this is a momentary break in the ring. So if I'm gonna add the nitro group here, The hydrogen that was attached is still there. 
the ring is broken for a moment. Now notice that I haven't drawn this horseshoe beyond carbons two or six. So you must not draw it beyond carbons two or six. Now this won't uh, last for very long because the ring is going to reform to restabilize the benzene molecule. The pair of electrons from the bond between the hydrogen here and the carbon, this pair of electrons moves in to reform, it delocalizes in to reform this aromatic ring. The product is nitrobenzene. And the H plus ion, the proton, is also released. This is not the end of the reaction because I said at the beginning that the sulfuric acid is going to act as a catalyst. Now, if you remember back, catalysts are not used up in chemical reactions. They simply offer an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. So this is where the HSO4 minus comes back into play. Now, in reality, the HSO4 minus would remove this proton to form sulfuric acid. What you simply need to show for OCR A-level chemistry is that the proton reforms, sorry, let me put that one. It reforms sulfuric acid by reacting with the HSO4 minus. So you get H2SO4 formed.